I've never been anywhere besides the United States. We're gonna see people that are in great need of healthcare. I'm anxious about the situation being so real. Nervous and excited. I cannot wait for tomorrow. What brings Chamberlain to India is the leper colonies that are being offered no care. We are invited to work with the communities in collaboration with them so that they will be able to rise up and provide their own health care. That's what Chamberlain's about. So when we arrive at the colony, we start thinking about where we're setting up the registration, all the clinical stations, pharmacy, wound care, if we're able to have pediatrics that day, if we're able to do a mental health station, and every colony is different. Ashley, Lacey, and Melanie are gonna be in the pharmacy with me. Today. When students come on the trips, they have a preconceived notion of how things are gonna be until they actually get to the clinic site and they realize here out in the field, you're working with very minimal supplies, you're working with a larger team, you're working with less supervision, so everything is very unstructured. Oh my gosh, I have no idea how many people have been in here. We started out with four clinical stations and we grew to five. And I know we've seen over a hundred, probably more than that. It's been an organized mess. It's been an organized storm. We're just taking them in, seeing what their chief complaint is, and then um, we'll just treat them, you know? We'll just treat them. If they have muscle pains, we're giving them the acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Any wound care issues, we're gonna send them to the correct section to get the best care that they can. The pace is fast, but Chamberlain's instructors are right by the students' sides to provide guidance. Her blood sugar is really high, 248. Wow. Yeah. For you, no Chai sugar. No sugar. Just making the most of what we can, you know? It's, it's been incredible. It's different. It's kind of chaotic, and it kind of opened my eyes to how much we actually have in the States, because this is all they have right now from us. So today has been like busy and hectic, but it's been fun. I love it. Even with a language barrier, students were connecting with their patients in a way that went beyond just assessing physical symptoms, but caring for the whole person. We communicate to them, we touch them, we give them a hug, we let them know that they matter to us, they're just human beings. I think that is the part that's gonna heal them. They're gonna remember us. You give them a Tylenol for a headache, the headache go away, and it's done, but that touch, that hug, that smile, when they go to bed at night, that's what they're gonna remember. I was overwhelmed. It's crazy, it, it happens time and time again, and I'm surprised each and every time that people with, with nothing can dig from within themselves and just throw their love and appreciation and excitement at you. And that hit me, it hit me hard. We have a couple of days left. I feel like it's flying by. I wish we were here for a month. I feel so privileged to be able to be doing this. You know, I kind of feel like it should be a required thing for humans to do. As the days pass, the students become more comfortable and adept at making the most of what they have at hand. For the students, taking them out of a clinical structured setting and putting them into the field, it kind of gives them an opportunity to kind of think on their feet and experience different situations and using the best of what we have for our resources. We ran out of medicine bottles, so we thought the next best idea was to get gloves. That's just what we're doing. <laughs> it's been quite a ride. It's been an emotional ride. I think everybody's just been impacted tremendously by the people from India. All of us are all functioning on around three to four hours of sleep every night. It hasn't really caught up to us yet. We just feed off of each other's energy and we just keep doing what we do. In the field, the students are dealing with a range of issues from basic healthcare education to more serious conditions. Leprosy is a shadow disease. People don't talk about it. The devastation that it does is unreal. You're shunned by the community. The people are not allowed to go to the hospitals for care. It's just the word brings terror into the community. 40-year-old female came in for fever and chills, very low blood pressure, high heart rate. She's probably got pneumonia. Tell her we're going to give her a shot. Yes, tell her we're going to give her two injections. Attempted to rehydrate her twice. 
We gave her Tylenol to try to bring her fever down as 102, and then we decided to go ahead and take her to the emergency room since she had not improved. You could see the pain in her face. It was heartbreaking, I think, and that's just one of a thousand because I happened to take care of that patient. I don't know, it's just heartbreaking. Heartbreaking of some of the things that we take for granted, you know? I wish I could have just stayed there and just talked to them. She went to go shake Debbie's hand, and she just like, <laughs> um, sorry. But I just wanted to like give them all a hug. A lot of these patients are never touched and have never been touched. So when a client presents to us for treatment, it's not just about the medication, it's not just about the treatment plan, it's about touching them and holding them. Thank you. You're very welcome. Very welcome. And so many times that can be more healing than a medication can be. Being here, it's, it's changed everything. You only feel right to do more for others before even yourself. I, I don't even know how to express the way that I feel. I feel privileged. Ever since I've been here, I feel so much more comfortable in my own skin. I feel so much more comfortable assessing patients and talking to them. I want to come back. Before, I was scared to even come here, and now I just want to come back. I want to travel everywhere and help any person that I possibly can. Just being a human, helping another human being, regardless of what they look like, what disease they have. I don't know, it's just very gratifying. It's very gratifying and I will never, ever, ever forget this trip. Every single day I'm gonna live this. I'm gonna take it and apply it to each patient. The same compassion that I discovered that I had in me for the last few days, I want that to stay with me. I don't want it to live. As you talk to any of the students, they will say that their heart motive for coming on the trip was that they wanted to provide service. They wanted to give care, to do something good. But what happens is the people, the people smile, the people hug you, the people are so intense and compassionate and loving that you are forced to come back. You just have to come back and say, here's the rest of me, what can I do for you? If every nurse could go out and do this, it would change the face of nursing forever.